People keep saying Among Us is dying. Maybe they're right. Look, the peak from 438,000 down to, what, 56,000 now? Look at all this red. Should I even make any more videos if it's gonna die soon? Hey guys, it's Bait from Among Us Academy. Wanna make a video about whether or not Among Us is dying. Um, regrettably, I think the popularity of the game has dropped and this recent post from um, NYHM yesterday on the subreddit <laughs> basically sums up how we feel. Uh, before there was all this hype, a lot of memes like red sus, funny meme, and right now everyone's probably looking forward towards a new map or different games. Even you can see streamers um, playing different games like Rust and Valheim instead. So is Among Us dying? Well, if you just YouTube search it, there's been videos for ages from almost even three months ago, um, even four months ago, um, why Among Us is slowly dying, um, sort of like Fall Guys. And is this true? Probably, there is a grain of truth to all of this, but let's go through the stats um, in a little bit more detail. So if you actually look at the um, Among Us statistics, you can see back in 2018, no one was playing the game. Like they would have average users about 200 players, 600 players. I mean, poor people were trying to find a game <laughs> back then. And it all blew up um, basically in July and August. And I think this coincided a lot with COVID-19, everyone staying at home. Um, basically, a lot of games blew up. Um, I think Twitch had more viewers in general, but also the fact that everyone started playing the game, it was perfect because you could play it remotely. You didn't need everyone in uh, the same room like you do with Avalon or Mafia, like the real life alternatives. And it was just the perfect game, sort of like Zoom is the perfect platform for the um, pandemic. And it skyrocketed in popularity and um, up until October where it peaked. But unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end and it has been slowly dropping. Now, I will preface by saying that Steam charts is actually not accurate for the total number of concurrent players. For example, um, 13,000 people um, were playing 32 minutes ago. But it is a good um, idea of the trend. Um, and we can actually see this. How does this compare to other games? Well, the one that people often compare it to is Fall Guys, which had a peak of about um, 172,000 players at once. And um, it could have been greater, but I think because of the cost being, I believe, around 20 US dollars, um, you probably had more of a sign up issue. Uh, however, the it's basically been dropping ever since. And right now the peak play is about less than 10% of uh, the peak in August. How's that compared to Among Us? Well, Among Us has a peak of about 176,000 and the average number, oh, sorry, average number of players now is about 29,000. Um, same thing back in September um, and October, the peak was around 400,000 and right now, the peak even in the last 30 days is about 100,000 players. So you're still getting around 25% of the peak value, which is pretty good um, in the grand scheme of things. But that being said, I do not like this trend. It's going more and more down. And I imagine that this average player number, if I had to guess in six months time, um, if the map isn't released, it'll probably be around 12,000 players, I would have to guess. Um, so I was I always hoped the game would be like an evergreen game, um, like Dota 2, for example. You can have a look at this game. It's been out since 2012, and it's just had a steady following. Um, average number of players have been around 400 to 500 thousand for a long, long time now. Sure, it maybe peaked roughly when you had the international, um, but it has a nice steady following. Another good example of this sort of. Um, graph is, for example, PUBG. It just has a nice steady following, about 100 or so thousand players. And same thing with Counter-Strike. Um, I'm surprised the game is still going strong, CSGO. Um, in fact, it's probably as good as it has ever been, uh, with peak number of players, about a million players in the last 30 days. That's pretty damn impressive. And so why is Among Us falling off? And um, when in theory, you could say the same thing with CSGO. There's only a few maps. Um, it's the same principle each round. And I think it's because it is very dependent on the people you play with. Um, you can have fun playing 
CSGO um, or PUBG by yourself. Whereas Among Us, I think the lobby that you play with is so important. Um, and also the peak here uh, probably had a lot of casual players as well. And a lot of people bought at home and it was inevitably gonna fall down, but um, it is falling down a lot more rapidly than these other um, games. And I feel like it's gonna unfortunately go down the Fall Guys route. But um, what we can see is if you look at actually the live play count, including other platforms, remember it's on Nintendo Switch, it's on Xbox, it's on your iPhone for free, Android for free. Um, there's a million players online. That is pretty damn impressive. If you actually compare that to, for example, Fall Guys, they have a quarter of a million online at this very moment. Um, Minecraft, on the other hand, has 3 million players, and that's very popular, and that's been an evergreen game for a while now. So that's only, quote unquote, three times as popular as Among Us at the moment. So that's also a good sign, and the fact that there is a huge player base outside of the current um, players that play on Steam. A lot of people still play on pirated versions or on different devices. Um, however, yes, the number is dropping down. Um, so what we want to do is another attribute to see how many um, players of all the interest in the game is to actually look at popular streamers. So for example, Disguised Toast, um, he basically was a famous Hearthstone streamer, played League of Legends, TFT a lot. And if you look at his previous videos, um, sure, they mainly average about 300K um, a video, 300, 400K on a good one, um, had a couple of, um, on dating show videos that went a bit viral. But since he started playing Among Us, he absolutely blew up. So six months ago, roughly around August, look at this. Um, his view counts, 4 million, 2 million, 3 million, 2 million, 4 million, 4 million, um, all the way until the greatest impossible game ever, um, around 550 IQ with 9.1 million views. That was five months ago. That is very, very impressive. But unfortunately, it basically went down from that. He still did really well, averaging about three to four million uh, back in the month of October, about four months ago. Um, but you can see a slowly down ticking of the number of views he gets per video. So about, he's hardly cracking it, three million um, back in November. And he's slowly going down and two months ago or in December, he probably wouldn't be able to crack 2 million. 1.6 million, you get the average, the rare 2.1 or 2.2 million, but it's slowly declining, slowly declining. Um, up until a few weeks ago, he's probably averaging just over 1 million views um, per video that he posts uh, with about the same amount of production quality as well. So about 1.2 million, 1.2 million, 1.1 million. And as a loyal subscriber and a huge fan of Toast, it really disheartens me to say that his recent videos haven't even been cracking the 1 million mark. Um, so last week, all these videos, eight videos, none of them have more than a million views to date, which is a bit sad. But that being said, he's definitely capitalized on it. You can actually see the trend here uh, with his, you know, monthly views. And you can see it absolutely skyrocketed um, in September, October, September, 95 million views. Um, October, 105 million views, 90 million views um, in November, 70 million views in December, and 54 million views in January. This graph, if you look at it, looks eerily similar to this graph, which makes sense because all the content is Among Us um, content. I do feel like it's a little bit delayed, um, as you can see. Um, it hasn't dropped to 20% of his um, high at this stage. And that's probably because a lot of people, I think um, they still, even though they don't play it in person, they like enjoying, um, like watching streamers play. So, uh, in that sense, it's probably not dead dead. It's like a sport. You might enjoy um, watching people play at various uh, levels of difficulty or competitiveness. And that might be a long lasting thing as well. The fact that Toast Views haven't plummeted from 105 million to, for example, 20 million um, is a good sign. Although that being said, a lot of his subscribers, um, he's gaining less and less subscribers now.
Um, but speaking of, if you enjoy this sort of content, please make sure you um, leave a comment and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, we try to make uh, good Among Us videos, maybe a couple of mobs too late um, to improve your Among Us gameplay. And hopefully, uh, once the new map comes, um, there will be an improvement in the numbers. And hopefully this animation is correct. And check out Beefalo if you haven't already. I remember those cold nights in electric Yes, yes. I'm gonna give you a little something to make you feel good as new. I don't feel anything. Oh, 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 yeah! Huh?